2018 in Beijing. All right, getting my temperature check. Mandatory testing for the city's 20 million plus residents. I've got to show them my passport and they have to type it in every single time. Beijing halted almost all public activity for weeks over just a few dozen daily COVID cases. Non-essential stores have been shut down, including schools and gyms, and all in restaurant dining is banned indefinitely. The capital recently reopened some venues like malls and parks with limited capacity, and visitors have to show proof of a recent COVID test. But still, the biggest crowds often appear to be parades of COVID workers, spraying disinfectant all over the streets. So it's green, I'm good to go in. I need this green code to enter any area in Beijing. If it turns red, then I could be stuck at home or sent to quarantine. Through these smartphone apps, authorities can carefully track the movements of virtually all of China's 1.4 billion people. Grocery shelves here fully stocked. Beijing officials clearly trying to show people that no matter how long this partial lockdown lasts for, people are going to be fed. Not like in Shanghai, where people struggled to get enough food when they were locked down. This is a building where a positive COVID case has been found. You can see the workers in hazmat suits, the blue barrier around the building. This is to keep the people who live there locked inside, but it also serves as a warning to other residents. There's a fear that if you spend too much time by a lockdown building, your QR code could turn red. Just one positive COVID case can get an entire building bus to government quarantine. This is just one of the many high-risk areas in Beijing. Residents avoid even transiting through the red dots on the map. It's lunchtime in Beijing's most popular food district. Normally, people here would be gathered, crowded shoulder to shoulder, but now it is essentially a ghost town. And even here, there are signs reminding people to avoid crowds and security guards on the loudspeakers telling people to distance themselves. But after more than two years of these on and off restrictions, people are getting frustrated. Every part of our days are tracked and surveilled. People are concerned that this control is here to stay long after COVID is gone. And Becky, it sounds like a dystopian movie to have a color.